the 2025 GTI adopts an updated 2.0-liter turbo power unit that's 15 horsepower more powerful, now making 262 horsepower and exclusively linked to a 7-speed DSG automatic transmission. The manual transmission option is gone after the 2024 model year, sadly, mostly because only the U.S. market was interested, making this the rare case of a stick shift disappearing due to international market indifference and not the other way around. Here, the manual transmission enjoyed a 40% take rate, that figure was lower elsewhere. There's updated head and taillight units for a sharper look that's honestly not such a departure from the current car, except it has copied a bit of the outgoing or trims look in the face, with its upward bending lower bumper edges. It's also guaranteed to get illuminated VW badging. Twin chromed exhausts poke out of the rear bumper, and there's up to five new wheel designs between 17 and 19 inches in size for the four corners as well. Crystal Ice Blue Metallic, Anemone Blue Metallic, Oyster Silver Metallic, and Grenadilla Black Metallic have been added to the exterior paint lineup as well, with an optional black painted roof available. Inside is mostly black with red accents through the dashboard, liner, and seats. The overhauled 4th gen infotainment system is said to be running HEW hardware and software, with remapped pages and updated graphics. Last year's more streamlined central touchscreen, which came integrated into the general shape of the surrounding dashboard, replaced by a new tablet like attachment standing proud of the dash. Volkswagen has mercifully binned the current GTI's touch sensitive steering wheel controls, which were irritatingly easy to accidentally activate when driving the car hard, the way a hot hat should be. Physical buttons now litter the wheel, which should eliminate unintentional heated steering wheel activations mid corner. The volume and temperature controls remain slider type, touch sensitive jobs that live under the main touch screen but there is more of a ledge below them for users to rest their hands on while finger sliding. The new Golf is available globally with either 10.4 or 12.9-inch touchscreens, but it sounds like the GTI specifically gets the bigger unit, along with a standard 10.2-inch driver display. Standard equipment is said to include auto climate control with upgraded illuminated interior buttons, keyless entry, cruise control, park assist, 30-color adjustable ambient lighting, and road sign display, with an available optional carbon fiber trim. Of course, the ChatGPT built into VW's newest infotainment system, which also is headed for the Tiguan SUV and those aforementioned ID electric models, including the ID4 and ID7 we get or soon will get here, is the headliner. Users can query the software via Siren's Chat Pro voice integration, and it works much like Google built in in other cars, able to control not only impromptu question and answer sessions, but also ingest and digest navigation requests, changes to the climate control settings, and audio functions. Activation is as easy as saying, hello IDA, or pressing a steering wheel button. In a clear nod to privacy and sourcing concerns swirling around artificial intelligence bots like ChatGPT, Volkswagen is adamant that ChatGPT does not gain any access to vehicle data. Questions and answers are deleted immediately to ensure the highest possible level of data protection. Provided the results of this are similar to Google built-in, a functionality we've enjoyed in the Hondas, Chevrolets, GMCs, and more that we've tested with that feature, this kind of voice activated, do it all on board assistant sounds great. In Europe, the Golf will be offered with multiple various versions still. There's the Golf E Hybrid with 201 horsepower boasting a second gen plug in hybrid system, that's upgraded to 268 horsepower in the Euro GTE trim. Those both use a turbo 1.5 liter four cylinder paired with a 19.7 kilowatt hour battery pack and e motor capable of up to 62 miles of all-electric driving range, with an overall range of up to 620 claimed miles in hybrid mode. There's also two TDI diesel versions, 48-volt hybrid versions, and a 2.0-liter TSI gas version with all-wheel drive.